Alright. Well, seeing as I got an invitation or a sort of added to the all new fantastic go and check it out YouTube Facebook page. Uh, or you Facebook on YouTube and then sort of let's all boycott Google Plusness. Thingy me jig, check it out on YouTube if you can decipher from what I've just said to actually type in, in some of that information to actually get the right thing up. Um, so I thought, hell, I'll, I'll do some Transformer stuff. So here we have a uh, real bear or robot or whatever you want to call him. And he's a scout. Now, I was sold this by Vangelis back when Vangelis used to do some pretty good videos. Um, and, you know, kind of... I don't know, like, do they, do they even still make scouts anymore? Is that a, is that a kind of a thing anymore? Do, 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 is it, do scouts exist? Or have, have they become cyber verses or whatever they're called? Um, so anyway, I figured I would transform them for your viewing pleasure. So yeah, untabby's kind of whatever that bit is, uh, kind of the, the bit that stops kind of high speed chases from going underneath his wheel arch, I guess. Yeah, fold them bits round after untabbing it and being rather careful because them are the type of bits that you know Mr. Pooh can snap and then you take his roof and then you split it in two thus revealing the kind of cargo area and then this is when it gets a bit tricky because you've got to unpeg his feet off this bit here and then fold it all round flip that round fold click tuck tuck fold and you make an aeroplane. I mean, a yeah, transformer thing. Uh, Autobot. Autobot. There you go, and you can uh, put him in, in there. And then you untuck his arms out of these bits at the back here. I believe they're supposed to be wings or something. At least that's what they look like to me. And I'm pretty sure that this was the very first ever uh, transformer figure that they ever actually managed to design with absolute zero kibble so check that out look at that absolutely seamless lovely kind of use that as a ski couldn't he so there you go so yeah, i think he's pretty decent um a little he's a kind of little figure as in like being able to use him as a figure rather than like a megazord thing where you can remove his arms and so so there you go, there's a Pali Poo Transformers review like. Uh, I do have this lovely bag of uh, classic legends. Um, kind of thinking I wouldn't mind sort of doing like a, a, a video a day of these little bad boys as they are pretty splendid. The other thing I would like to show you is when I was rummaging through my box of Transformers and stuff and thought which one shall I get out and have a look at? And I got this guy out, and he was in his car mode, or van mode, or whatever he is. And I kind of thought, like, okay, what does this guy look like again? Kind of transformed, and I transformed him. And I just, like, what the hell's going on with him? Like, his arms are, like, they're just... He's practically got four four legs, you know, like, he's just... Is he related to a monkey, or something? So, yes, he's... Uh, He's got some wingspan on him, but I uh, figured I would just I would just have a little look at him. Why not? We'll put him in an action pose. There you go. And the little bear can be beside him, saying, uh, Would you like to buy a French omelette from my catering shop that is in my Red Bull van? Or something like that. So, again, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you all later on.